Rendering tab of the Options dialog box. Let's go to our Application menu, to Options. Let's go to Rendering. In the top part, we can add additional render appearance paths. So when we add things, such as our texture files, or our bump files, or any custom colors, uh, so that we can we can use these with our renders. So a lot of times we will create various bump files or texture files and we want to reuse them from project to project. Uh, and so we'll put these in folders and we'll collect them. And we can add those uh, paths in and we can navigate which way the software goes, looks through those particular paths. Um, I'm going to say at this point that we don't waste our time with that. We're going to generally take our files from Revit and we're going to move it into 3ds Max. And 3ds Max will do a much better job of putting materials and lighting and animation and rendering uh, than, than Revit will. Revit's easy and if we're going to use easy, we're going to use what they provide us. So if we're going to do any more customization, we might as well do that in 3ds Max. So I'm not too worried about this area here. Also an ArcVision context manager. Uh, ArcVision is a way for additional content. Uh, so we can have all kinds of different content pre-drawn for us. Uh, so if, if we don't like the sofa we have, we can go out to the to the ArcVision sofa and grab that sofa. We can have it either on a, a network version of this or we can have it on a local hard drive. Uh, and so if network version is that we have multiple people can use it and on a local it's installed on your local uh, laptop or PC. If you want to get more information about uh, uh, RPC, uh, you can go to the ArcVision Content Manager area. You can, you can click on here and they'll take you out and provide you more information about how to spend your money.